Talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, oh, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How you doing, Postal Family? Everybody good? Everybody cool? Everybody clean? Everybody crisp? Everybody iry? Let's talk. First, I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize to those that I possibly offended with my last videos. Because some people feel as if I'm attacking my fellow co-workers, my brothers and sisters in the postal service. And that's not the case. What I am attacking is the fact that we have plenty, way too many individuals that take advantage of the system. And now that it's being brought to the forefront, people are getting offended and people are getting put on notice that they are being watched. So for instance, and I want you guys to think as if you owned your own business. Just take it as if you owned your own business. Let's say you owned a bakery, for instance. Then we're gonna break it down the simplest we can. A bake. And during your first few years of baking, it was booming. You needed not one, not two, not three, ten people to keep up with the demand that you had. You needed ten people. You were selling. You were selling, selling, selling. You were selling over $2,000 a day. At the end of the week, five days a week, you end up making $10,000. You were able to cover the cost of your food. You were able to cover the cost of your electricity. You were able to cover the cost of your labor. Right. Good. You took care of your customers. After five years, though, what happened? You didn't sell as much, but you still had your 10 people sitting around. You only sell $1,000 a week now, or $1,000 a day. Now you're down to five grand a week. You're barely covering your expenses and you're still paying those 10 workers. A few years later, you're down, you're down to $500 a week. You still got the 10 people, but for some reason, those 10 people are not keeping up with the basic demand of the production that you have, but you still gotta pay them? As the rates go up years later, you still gotta pay these people? Can't fire them because they're under the union. What do you do in that scenario? That's what's happening here at the post office. We have less mail, but we can't keep up with the demand to move this mail, but they still gotta pay all these people. Still gotta pay all these people. And it doesn't make sense. I went to pick up a station today and this station's located at a mall. And when I pick up a station, clerks know this, that they have to give me a registry bag at the end of the day. The lady says, no, we can't give you a registry bag today because we didn't make more than $100. We didn't make more than $100, so we're not gonna give you the registry bag today. And in my head, I said, how is it that you didn't make more than $100? But that's just how it is. Then I thought, a little deeper. I said, wait a minute. If you didn't make $100 and they have to pay you for today and you've been here for a long time, she only got a few years left. She's probably making close to $40 an hour, eight hours a day. Sounds like 320 bucks for that one person for the day. But you didn't make $100 in sales. In actuality, the post office lost there. And not only that, it's located at a mall. They're paying the retail space for the building, the electricity for the building, and you still have to pay the labor. That doesn't make sense. That's where the losses come in. Imagine this is going on nationwide. Nobody ever looks at the bottom line. Nobody ever looks at the figures. All we look at is what am I getting paid? And we should because we didn't go to work not to get paid, but we go to work and they hired us to produce. And that is where my apology initially goes into effect because now Jay's gonna go on that rant. Y'all ready for it? Let's go. <laughs> Why is it we can't move the mail? No, we, you heard this one already. We, we're just gonna continue going. What the hell is our people doing? We got people at work and I'm gonna go through every craft. Mail handlers, what's up? What's up? Probably not you, but you see it. How is it that y'all gotta power through three hours of solid work for the day? Solid work, 
crunch time. Three hours of solid work, but you're there for an eight hour day. But during those three hours, they still move at a snail's pace. Clerks, clerks, what is up with your stinking ass attitudes? Maybe not you, because the people that watch me are positive. But damn, I went to a post office in regular clothes and them clerks are nasty. They don't move at a they don't move at a steady pace. And they got real nasty attitudes. Really nasty. They don't care for the clerks that work at the station. Tell me I'm lying. You work with people that have been there for five, ten years, they don't give a rat's ass about nothing. They taking their breaks while the line is out the door. They don't care about the man. They will stop in the middle of a transaction and just I gotta use the bathroom. I got it. What? Move it snails. Pay. I'm not doing that. That's such and such's job. Oh, that brings us back to the mail handlers. How is it you work in a dock, but you can only cover three doors or you can only cover one zone? That's not my job. Well, you're not doing anything. Expediters. My guy was talking to me today. Expediter standing at his door, ready to take and scan his stuff off the truck. But that person won't do it because that's not that person's zone. The other person is all the way down on the other end of the dock, but they won't come down here because they're too busy talking to another driver. Now the driver's sitting there just looking around like, hey man, I gotta get a trailer, I gotta I gotta move, I can't do nothing, but you're not, so you're not gonna scan me in? And no, no, those are my doors right there. He's like, that's like right next to me, you can't scan me? What is this with everybody saying? That's not my job. That's not my job. That's not my job. That's not my job. Hurts my feelings. What about the clerks at the plant? About to go in on y'all too. No, I really ain't got much to say about you guys because you guys, you like steady robots. You keep it moving. You keep it moving. I respect that. But how come they can't get the mail out early? It ain't your fault. It's the way that the managers or the supervisors that are over you guys actually tell you guys how to run your schemes. Oh, get this one first. Get that one first. They don't care how the mail goes out. They'll get the, they'll have the one out that, they, 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 they'll have the first one out that's supposed to go out last and they do it in a bass backwards order why i have no idea what about the carrier i love the carriers because my daughter's a carrier my sister's carrier you got carriers galore but what's up with the carriers nothing because y'all some hard workers you working through rain sleet snow hot weather raggedy vehicles they don't want to the ccas that 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 the ones that ain't gonna make it ccas come back Say they don't want to go back out and help nobody else. Why? Because they tired. I understand that. That's a, that's a grueling job. But it ain't for the week. But I challenge the CCAs that come in that are just starting off to look at the ones that have full-time career routes that are just doing their eight hours and going home. Because you look at CCA Nick. That's my dog. That man grind, grinded from his first year, second year, probably on to his third year now. And he, he doing what he need to do. And he just, he didn't care. He just kept going and going and going. Now he's putting it on cruise control. He putting it on cruise control, but he's still moving at a steady pace. People ain't asking you guys to sacrifice your whole life. No, what they are asking you to do is to do the best you can work as hard as you can because hard work don't kill nobody. That is real. Hard work don't kill kill nobody oh somebody gonna say but the pay sucks the pay sucks that that's how you guys look at it the pay sucks compare yourself to ups go work for them someone said ups is comparable go over there go work for ups tell me how hard it is to get in there number one tell me how often they're hiring number two see if you can get in there if you can get in there <laughs> you ever see ups pick up stuff See, I got I got I got cages and GPCs and stuff on wheels where I can pick stuff up and push it in the trailer. UPS don't have that. No, no, no. They floor load and scan everything. Beep. 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 Picking stuff up, putting stuff down. They getting paid for it. Somebody gonna say something about the top scale. How long it takes to get to the top? Well, from what you guys have witnessed. This is your own question from what you have witnessed. Do you believe that everybody that works around you deserves top pay? Don't lie to me because I don't believe it. 
Do you believe that everybody and your coworkers deserve top pay? Some people say, oh, well, $22 ain't enough. Or get up to $30, you know? And the average police officer is only making $27, $28 an hour. So that's what you probably deserve then, right? If the truck drivers are starting out at $29, $30 an hour, you deserve what they did because you came to the table with the skill because you're able to push some mail up and down the dock. Now, mind you, I don't pick on anybody because I have a family member in every craft. This is not me digging at everybody. This is me pointing out the obvious for those that feel entitled because we are not entitled to anything. You're entitled to a paycheck. No one asked you to apply here. They didn't ask me to apply here. I applied, I struggled, I grinded, and I always said, I have my five-year plan. It's gonna take me five years before I was able to make this work for me. I didn't give up after the first year. I didn't give up after the second year. I felt like it, I felt like it. But can it work for everybody? So long as you keep grinding, yes, it can work. I don't know how many of you guys shut the video off yet. But if you did stick around, follow me. Because one day I'm gonna tell you guys the full story of who Jay is and why I grind the way I grind and why I push this place the way I push it. Because all of us can thrive so long as we put in the time and people feel like they're missing stuff if they put too much time into this place. Which makes no sense to me. Because you look at those supervisors, they're in there 10, 12 hours a day. Half of them ain't doing nothing but that they're there that length of time. You see the people that are thriving, grinded, grinded for the first few years. You ever wonder why some of these people that you work with take three vacations a year? It's because they can afford it now. You will be able to afford it. So all you gotta do is grind it out initially. We don't deserve nothing. We work hard for everything. I know that's hard to grasp for a lot of people, but we have to work for everything, everything. I just saw something else about some more tech companies laying off people, Walmart, Roku, Amazon, Lego. Everybody keep laying them off. I still ain't find that one article that says USPS laying off employees. I don't think they're gonna have that article. They're gonna be moving them around. They're gonna be weeding everybody out. Only the strong will survive. This ain't place for the weak, eventually. It'll be something that everybody can strive through. And eventually, it'll be a place that you'll be happy to go to. Changing buildings up, changing lighting up, giving us new vehicles, things they everybody demanded before. Now it's coming to fruition and people are getting scared. We wanted new buildings. We wanted new vehicles. We wanted better working conditions. They have these projects right now where they're training supervisors. We wanted new supervisors. Things don't happen overnight. We got to grind and work for it. You zim it? Please leave your comments below if you made it to the end of the video. This is just a conversation. I ain't scared to chop it up with y'all. Postal family, we love you. You zim it? This is JH, and we out.